friends, let us believe and pray. Father, I thank you for this moment as I'm going to share the word with your people. Lord Almighty Father, use me as a vessel to deliver your word upon your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. My friend, the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 9, therefore, I want us to read verses 24. The Bible says this way, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Again it says, But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. My friend, this is the word of God. Where are you? Look at yourself. Check at yourself. Do you save your life for your sake? Do you save your life to gain? Do you save your life for Christ? I want to come to you today just to encourage you, my friend. I want you to save your life for Christ. Some people save many things for themselves. They save many things for their own benefit. They save many things to gain. But I want to tell you today, my friend, if you serve for the Lord, there is a credit. If you serve for Jesus Christ, there is a credit. If you serve for Messiah, the one we serve, there is a credit for it. You will look for someone. You will see someone outside there. He is serving a lot. He is working too much. He is spending too much for his own benefit. But if you spend for Christ, if you release yourself for Christ, if you spend a lot for Jesus Christ, you want to not lose. There is a treasure. God in heaven will reward you. He will save your life. He will save you for a better place. My friend, don't save for this life. If you save for this life, therefore you will lose it. But if you serve for Christ, what do I mean? How do you serve for Christ? At times by giving. How do you serve for Christ? At times by doing good. How do you serve for Christ? By winning soul. How do you serve for Christ? By seeing others important than you. My friend, you are going to work. See others important. See other people useful. Therefore, you serve, you put your credit for Christ and God will see you through. My friend, I want us to pray. As you go to work, save for Christ. Remember that when you save for your own, you will lose it. But save for Christ Jesus. Because when you save for Christ, there is a reward for you. I want us to pray. Father, I thank you. I give you praise. I bless your name. I thank you, Jehovah, for this moment. As I've given your word to your people, Lord Almighty Father, may you enable us. May you give us, Almighty Father, according to your word. Lord Almighty Father, may you save our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Your people, as they work in their offices, Lord, teach them to know you better. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. My friend, if you are there, you are not born again, this one is for you. I want you to repeat this behind me. Therefore, God will bless you. Father, I come before you. I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. Lord, starting from today, I want to change. Lord, save my life. Lord, save my life. Remove my name in the book of darkness. Write my name in the book of life. Starting from today, I want to follow you. Starting from today, I want to stand with you. Thank you, Jesus, because of what you have done. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. My friend, God is with you. God will stand with you. God is there to redeem you. Therefore, stand with Christ. Walk with Christ. And therefore, he will do you well. In Jesus' mighty name. Shalom, shalom. Peace of God be with you. Jesus mighty name.